Okay, so let's design another bass sound. I'm taking this same MIDI here and I'm opening up a new instance of Massive. And we're actually going to use this saw wave here. We are putting up the amplifier all the way and we send it to filter one and put a low pass for filter on filter one. Take down the resonance and put the cutoff halfway up for now. Or maybe a bit more. Let's control this cutoff filter with the macro control here. We are placing it into the second slot for now and drag it up all the way. Call this cut off and also we are going to put an envelope on the filter into the first slot here this one we're dragging that up to two o'clock now you see this first envelope already controls our filter and let's take the decay down Make sure you listen on headphones or on speakers with a subwoofer or that can actually play those subfrequencies. Decay a bit shorter. So you see it's getting very interesting here sound wise. Let's go to the overall envelope quickly and shape that one a little bit. We take a longer release time and take the decay level down a little bit. more you don't want to use too much of the envelope so keep it like this for now and like I also decrease the attack level here and let's go back to the first envelope and shape the attack here as well Actually drag up the cutoff a little bit. Okay, and now we are going to put an envelope amount control onto this sidechain modulation slot. So this one, the third one, onto this slot here, call it envelope uh, mount. It will control how much of this shape we will apply percentage wise on this low pass filter here. So put this arrow below the first envelope here. And now this amount controls how much we are applying this from nothing to everything. Bring up the master a little bit. Okay, let's put on a tube on effect one here, a classical tube. We need to put it into effect one because it's not part of the second effect section. Bit less drive here and a bit more dry wet. And we can actually control the dry wet again down here with a macro control like this tube. So that kind of beefs up your sound.
And also we are going to put on an optional chorus effect to widen our higher frequencies of the sound. So dry wet down and micro control onto the dry wet here. So chorus rate down a little bit. What a cool effect. And voicing. Let's put in three voices. And let's take the chorus off for a second. And unisono active. Let's put it on mono rotate. And now we need to go to the oscillator and decrease the gliding time. That one was controlling a little bit of this mono rotate mode here. So going back to voicing. It's a bit optional if you want to use three voices or one voice. One is a bit cleaner. And let's take down the cutoff a bit more. If this is the sound you're shooting for, use one. And if you want to widen it more, Use free if you want to have fat sound. Then you should also open up the chorus and stuff. So it's a super cool bass sound. <laughs> 